Copy that. Johnson, attack that boom cannon. Yeah! That's some good attacking, Johnson. Okay, orders from HQ. Attack that flamethrower. This is a great plan. Maybe even an amazing plan. Great plan. This is the best plan ever. You guys are on fire. HQ says we should try something new. Attack those machine guns. I don't know how, but somehow they came up with an even better plan. I totally agree. Running straight at the flamethrowers was genius, but this is even more genius. Okay, you guys are getting shot up pretty bad. HQ wants to try something else. Run through that minefield. They did it! They topped that last plan! Incredible! I couldn't believe it at first either, but they have struck gold! This plan is no good. Back to the flamethrowers. I knew from the get-go this was the best plan! Alright, men. We've stormed this beach 17 times. And 17 times, we've been defeated. A lot of those times, horrifically. But a new plan just came down from HQ, and it's a showstopper! The key is to flank left around the minefield before we take the base. Now, you're still gonna be shot by those machine guns we found in Mission 7. As far as we know, those flamethrowers Gary found behind those trees are still there, and they will burn you. Some of you will be blown up. Guys in this area, I'm looking at you. Especially you, Steven. That's me! And you, Fletcher. Woo! And are the Cruz brothers here? Chad and Jeff? And you guys. And even though we've been through this 17 times before, none of which ended well for anybody, I feel pretty good about this. Now let's get that base! Looks like that gunboat is aiming right at us. That would be ridiculous. Destroying the sniper tower would provide no strategic advantage. I stand corrected, Johnson. It is super fun to blow something up that provides no strategic advantage. All right, let's head home, boys. H2 says, flank right and take the base. You guys are flanking up the right side? We just flanked up the right side. How'd it go? Good, good, not great. They do have a flamethrower. Did you take it out? Nah. But you guys brought me fine. All right, let's do this. The next time you try to defeat me, perhaps you should bring your friends. <laughs> My victory will be that much sweeter. Lieutenant, our army is being defeated. We need inspiration. Very well. Bring me my wartime epaulets. Yeah, that's while you were putting on your epaulets. They look good, though. I've decided to give you a clue as to how to defeat me. Come with me. Sand in the eye! Ha! You'll never get my plans! Ha! I hope no one looks at my plans while I'm sleeping. You'll never get my plans while I'm sleeping. Because I'm never sleeping. Fab TBC for real who, during my Mega Crab attack, tweeted, Finally upgrading my HQ to level 8. Better watch out for my warriors. Oh, I watched out. Congratulations to you, sir. And to Solar Flare who wrote, If I defeat him, do I get a bucket of chicken? I don't know about the chicken, but you get my heartfelt congratulations. These are some of the things I would be saying if you had beaten my real Mega Crab. 
You see, that was an imposter. My real Mega Crab will be coming to destroy you all in just a few short days. The Mega Crab wasn't the only thing that was fake. You see, I'm an imposter too. So long, people who defeated my Mega Crab but will never defeat my real Mega Crab! future people I will be defeating, Dr. T here again. I hear you've been working on strategies to stop me from taking over Boom Beach. Well, I have thought of everything. Rifleman? Flamethrowers! Heavies! Boom cannons! You see, I've thought of everything. I've been watching your Boom Beach strategies. Here are my initial thoughts. Wrong! Mega wrong! Unused eyebrows! You'll never defeat Dr. T. Take it from me, Dr. T. Dr. T here again. Think you can defeat me? Three reasons you won't defeat me. Number one, look at you. Number two, no, look at you. Number three, did you look at yourself? HQ says take out that machine gun. Many people have wondered, whatever happened to Dr. T? After the heroic forces of Boom Beach repelled Dr. T's Mega Crab attack, he gave up his life of evil. Dr. T retired to an island in the Boom Beach archipelago. Dr. T now spends his days farming fresh melons and drinking the fresh juice the melons produce. He no longer yearns to take over Boom Beach. No, he's definitely not thinking about all the ways he could destroy the Boom Beach archipelago. He's not imagining once again riding the Mega Crab this time to a glorious victory. He's certainly not plotting how he would defeat each and every one of the Boom Beach players who attacked his precious Mega Crab. Specifically, Zaffy HB, City in the Sky, Gavin Smallfish, Kai Sunshine, and CJ0113. The players who did more damage to his wondrous Mega Crab than anyone. No, he's not doing that. He's simply farming these melons. These completely unevil, completely delicious melons. Definitely not holding a grudge and plotting your defeat right now. Nope. Just farming melons. <laughs>